Welcome to the beautiful British countryside. This is Tiny Home Yoga with May, where you can find peace and tranquility on and off your yoga I run mat. weekly online live classes direct from my floating home. If you'd like to start practicing regularly to reap the physical and mental rewards, details are below. But for now, let go and relax. You are exactly where you're meant to be. Hello, welcome to Tiny Home Yoga. It's May and today we are going to be working on our core, strengthening the center of our body. I don't particularly like teaching fitness classes because there is, <laughs> it's really easy to hurt yourself. Um, you don't need to push yourself and sweat and do hundreds and hundreds of reps to reap benefits when it comes to moving your body. I believe that if you practice every day, slowly, with intention, mindfully with the body, you're more likely to get better rewards for the long term. Personally, I have done lots of different types of exercise classes. And when I was working really, really intensely, doing reps, doing burpees, doing so many different kind of hard hit physical ex exercises, and then I stopped, I noticed that my hips were in a right state. And I realized at that point that this isn't for me. Working in this way is not for me. I would like to take it back a notch, put the, put the pedal on in regards to regular practice, but it doesn't need to be intense. So with that in mind, we're gonna be working today on the core in a kind of more fitness way. However, we're still practicing yoga we're still moving with our breath and we're working with our body rather than trying to push it or work against it, trying to make it better. In fact, we are the reason we're doing this today is to protect our core and our lower back and everything that is linked with that. It's to build strength so that we can practice more safely. And then we'll finish the class with a lovely resting restorative couple of minutes to really relax and wind down. So a bit of both today. Right, let's begin. Coming down onto the floor, we're going to spend most of the class here, so make sure you're nice and comfortable. You are going to warm up. <laughs> right, so placing your feet on the floor, tucking the chin slightly, bringing the hands down to the sides. Just relax and release any holding in the body. Perhaps you're holding something in the shoulders or in the fingers. Maybe you're holding something in the feet or the face. Just let it go. And connect with the floor. Feel your feet on the floor. And your coccyx, your pelvic area. And then notice how the spine curves a little, lifting off the floor and then joins the floor again with the lower part of the lungs and the rib cage. And then draw your mind's eye up to the center of your back, behind the back of your heart, feeling your shoulder blades on the floor and moving up to the back of the neck and the back of the head engaged with the floor. Wind your attention down both arms, feeling the elbows, the forearms, the hands and fingers connected with the ground, with the earth. And then back to the breath. Nice deep inhalation to the top of the lungs, all the way to the top. And a slow, complete exhalation all the way to the bottom. I'm going to do this two more times in your own breath. Take a nice deep inhale. And slow and complete exhale. One more time. Okay, wonderful. Remember, it's so important that we activate the pelvic floor 
and abdomen and squeeze that area. So imagine that you need to go to the toilet really desperately and you're squeezing the pelvic floor, holding there. That is called the root lock or the mula bandha in Sanskrit and we're going to squeeze. And that means that whenever we work with our abdomen in yoga today and for the rest of the, every other class that you ever do, you're protecting yourself, you're taking care of your muscles, your joints, etc. So let's start with some, um, let's start with a little twist to move, make some movement into the body. So you're going to take your arms out into a cactus or if you're in a, a big space you can extend your arms out all the way. You're going to inhale and then exhale, take the knees over to the right. Looking over towards the left, drawing the left shoulder blade to the floor. Inhale, slowly come up and then exhale to the other side. I have to shift my hips over because I've got these shelves in the way. So just work with your space. If you can't get all your knees all the way down, that's absolutely fine. We're gonna come up again, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, come up, exhale, moving those knees down to the floor. And then finding your breath and your movement here, inhale, come up, exhale, come down. And when you've finished on your left side, come back to centre. Place the hands on the body, feet hip distance apart, knock the knees together. Gently lift the hips and then lower them down. Gently tuck the chin and relax. Relax. Okay. Oh, I could have stayed there. <laughs> All right. So bringing the hands underneath the glutes, we're going to gently lift the feet. But before we do, activate your mula bandha, your root lock, making that squeezing sensation. And then do your best to lift the feet up at the exact same time. This takes practice and control and strength. So be kind to yourself if it's not in your practice today. Lengthen up through the tops of your ankles, the bottom of your feet, reaching up to the sky. I've spent many years trying to make these legs nice and straight in this position. So if your knees are bent, that's absolutely fine. Just draw those heels up. We're going to start with some leg lifts. So exhale, taking the right leg down, hovering the right leg above the floor. Oh, I'm going to have to shift back. <laughs> I need more space. Hovering the right leg above the floor. Inhale slowly coming up and then exhale the other side. Left leg comes down, hovering the left leg above the floor, slowly coming up. If your leg doesn't go all the way down and you're at a 45 degree angle today, that is absolutely fine. Work with your body. So mirroring the breath and the movements, nice and slow. Inhale, come up. Exhale, go down. If you want some more here, anyone else who wants a bit more, you can extend both legs down towards the floor. The further they go to the floor, the more intense this is going to be. So we're going to go three more times. Three. Two. And one. If you are doing single leg lifts, then just finish on that left side before bringing the feet down simultaneously, touching the floor with control. Lovely. Lift the hips away, remove the hands, place the hands on the body, knock the knees together. Nice inhale right to the top of the chest, filling the lungs, and then exhale, let it all go. Relax. Beautiful. 
Okay, next strengthening exercise. Feet hip distance apart, again, lifting those legs up off the floor. We're going to take some toe taps. So wherever your knees are, maybe they need to come a little bit closer to the body. Maybe you can find that center point where your knees are in the perfect L shape. Or if you want a little bit more, you can take your knees further away from you. So just finding that and experimenting with what you feel that you can hold comfortably. And when you're ready, you can begin to tap your toes down to the floor. So inhale, come up, exhale, come down. For anyone who wants a little bit more, you can bring both toes down at the same time. For anyone that's feeling super hardcore today, please listen to the body. Bringing the hands underneath the back of the head, interlacing the fingers, lifting the head up slightly. Breathing, inhale and exhale. The body's starting to shake, which means it's working hard, which is good. Lovely. We're going to go for three more. Aiming to finish on the left side if you are single tapping. Three, two, and one. Lovely. So if you've got the head in your hands, slowly release that down. Everybody bringing the feet down simultaneously with control. Hands on the body, knock the knees together. Nice inhale right to the top of the lungs and then exhale, let it all go. Wonderbar. Okay, we're going to work with the obliques now. So option for anyone who is a real beginner you can get yourself a dressing gown tie and place it around the legs. If you have something similar to this yoga strap, then you can grab something like that. Pause the video now if this is for you. You're going to use the yoga strap as a uh, support for lifting you up. So you're not totally relying on your core. The closer you get your hands to the knees, the better. You're going to inhale, come on the way up and then draw the left shoulder to right knee so you're kind of coming over to the side a little bit whilst also drawing that hip down towards the floor so it's really isolating those obliques inhale slowly coming up moving the right shoulder to left knee drawing the right hip down so you want to keep your hips on the floor evenly as you just move the shoulders towards the knees so that is for anyone who wants to give this a go. Nice and slow work with the breath. Anyone looking for a little bit more, interlacing the hands around the back of the neck. Inhale, exhale, lifting up and taking the elbow towards the opposite knee. Inhale, come up, elbows towards opposite knee, drawing the hips down. So you're not bringing your whole entire torso up here. You're just bringing the top of your chest up and moving over to the side. Doing your best to stay aligned. So it should really start to feel this in the top of the abdomen now. Okay. Use your exhale to support the most intense part. So inhale, come down, exhale, move up. Inhale, come down. Exhale, up you come. You're doing amazing. Keep going. You've got this. The more it hurts, the better. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a way that damaging to your body I mean that in, a, in an intense that kind of burning sensation in your abdomen 
you want to get that feeling work through that breathe through that okay we're gonna go for three more three two one and just to be mean <laughs> if you didn't finish on your left side then go left side one more time yes well done good job Excellent, amazing work. Okay, this time you're going to bring the knees up into the chest, interlace the hands around it and give yourself a nice squeeze, rocking from side to side. Giving your lower back a little bit of a massage here. Wonderful. Nice, long, elongated breaths. Super. Okay, we're going to do one more core exercise and then we can move into our rest. Yay, I hear you say. <laughs> Alrighty, so bringing the legs up to the sky again, knees bent, absolutely fine. I'm just going to wiggle myself down again. Whee! Drawing up with the heels. And we are going to lift again the torso up off the floor. Neck and shoulders come up. Gentle little pulse movement. <sighs> Inhale, come down, exhale, lift. And if you want to slow that down and take a breath in between each one, that's absolutely fine. Wonderful. If you want a little bit more, you can release the hands up from the back of the neck and try and reach the toes. We're going to go for three more. Three. Two. One. Well done, amazing job. Bend those knees back up into the chest. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, bringing the feet down to the floor. Amazing. Taking the heels, uh, sorry, the knees over to the side into kind of windscreen wiper. Just to release anything there. Any tension. Nice deep breaths again. Okay. So if you have a pillow to hand, grab yourself a pillow. If you have a bolster, even better. But you just wanna have your legs lifted slightly. So try your best to do that in any way you can, using pillows or books or whatever you've got available to you. You're gonna, just gonna place this pillow creation underneath your knees so that you just can really completely release any tension held in the lower back area so it should almost feel a bit like a, a bit of weightlessness in that lower back space and you can have your hands over your abdomen just feeling and checking in with your abdomen noticing the fire in the belly and Knowing that it's probably going to hurt a lot tomorrow, but that's fine. It's part of the journey. I'm going to close down the eyes now. Or finding a soft gaze on the ceiling. And just give yourself permission to completely relax. 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 Bringing your attention now to the toes 
and the feet as they completely relax. Drawing your attention now up the shins to the knees as they feel heavy, relax. Drawing your mind up to the thighs and the hips and the pelvic bowl as your lower back completely sinks into the floor. Relax. Bring your mind up to the belly, thanking the abdomen, thanking yourself for bringing attention here today to strengthen, to keep you safe, to keep you strong. Relax. Bringing your mind's eye up to the heart space and the shoulder blades connecting with the floor, sinking down into the earth. Winding your attention now down both arms, slowly moving through the biceps, triceps, elbows, forearms, palms and fingers and fingertips. Relax. Now winding your attention back up the arms all the way to the top of the shoulders once again and check in with the neck and the back of the head. The forehead softens behind the back of the eyes, soften. The jaw removing the tongue from the top of your mouth. As you relax, Slowly begin to deepen the breath. Fill your lungs to the top. And then completely let go. Once again, breathing all the way to the top. And let it go. Bring some movement into the fingers and the toes. If you've got the space, interlace the fingers, stretch over the top of the head, point the toes. Stretch, 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 stretch. <sighs> Rolling over to one side. And then slowly making your way up to a comfortable seated position in your own time.
Everybody meeting in your comfortable position, sitting up, bringing the hands to the prayer, bowing the head gently down towards the fingertips. And just thinking of something that you are grateful for today. I finish all of my live classes with this ritual, this mantra. So feel free to join me if you wish. Bringing the hands up to the head for peaceful thoughts, to the mouth for peaceful words to ourselves and to others, and to the heart for peace for all. Shanti, Shanti. Hare Om, blessings to you all. Namaste. <sighs> Who is feeling good? I know I am. <laughs> Have a wonderful rest of your day. Take this energy into moving forward, feeling this clarity and strength within yourself. You're amazing. I'll see you next time. <laughs>